Hello everyone. Good afternoon. Today we are going to see the first and uh, introduction and basic session of the Snowflake day one. So I'm going to share my screen. So this is the introduction and basics of Snowflake day one. What is Snowflake? It is a cloud-based data warehousing platform. Uh, the cloud-based means everything is provisioned in the cloud itself. It is completely different from the on-premises data. In the on-premises, we have extra getting the maintenance and storage cost, whereas in the cloud-based data warehousing, it is completely different. The Snowflake goes for the pay per use model. Whatever the features of the Snowflake you are going to use, you have to just go to pay for it. Next, it combines the data storage processing and analytics. For example, uh, the whatever the data you want to store, you will be storing in the data warehouse. The processing will be taken care by the um, warehouses because uh, what are the computations you are going to do and what are the analytics you are going to do. So data storage and processing and analytics, that is a computational part and the storage part, it is independent of each other. That means if the storage is very high, the computational uh, queries will be less. And if the computations are more, if you want to do some computations on the queries, if it is more, then the storage will be very less. It supports structured and semi-structured data. Structured data means, for example, CSV, Excel, uh, or the structured data. Semi-structured means JSON, Parquet, Avro. Those are the semi-structured data. To load the semi-structured data like JSON from the S3 bucket into the Snowflake data warehouse, you need to do the passing of the JSON data. So the, that's way it supports both the structured and semi-structured data. Whereas in the traditional data warehouse, the semi-structured data types are not much supportive. And it is accessible from any cloud like AWS, Azure Data Factory, and GCP. So this is about what is Snowflake. Now, key features. What is cloud native? No hardware, no software management. It means the infrastructure of the Snowflake is managed by itself. It is a separation of compute and storage. It scales independently. For example, I'm working in a warehouse which is an extra small size. I'm getting set of queries for the computation. I feel like I need some extra uh, size of the warehouse to support this computation. For that, for me, no need to increase the warehouse size. The auto scaling of the warehouse size will automatically take care by the snowflake. As well as when there is a queries or less, the warehouse size will be automatically scaled down by the snowflake. That is why it is called as scaling independently. Automatic scaling and optimization. So uh, the automatic increase the size of the warehouse, automatic decreasing, decreasing the size of the warehouse and query optimization. Everything will be taken care by the snowflake. Secure data sharing. Share data without moving it. So I'm going to share some of the Snowflake data for the customer or some uh, account who doesn't have the, uh, who has joined recently to the organization, they don't have the Snowflake account. So Snowflake has got a feature called provider account and the reader account so that it will be uh, taken care by the uh, Snowflake organization. So secure data sharing means I'm going to share the data without moving the data somewhere. New people have joined the organization. They don't have any Snowflake account. For that, I'm going to have a provider account and a reader account. The provider account is going to provide the data, whereas a reader account is going to take the data for some analysis. After the analysis is done, their uh, uh, roles will be revoked back. This is the way how the secure data sharing can be done. So you no need to move the data somewhere. Just share the data for some purpose and revert back the roles once it is done. Architectural overview. We have a storage layer, compute layer, and cloud service layer. Storage layer takes care of the centralized repository for all the data. Compute layer is a virtual warehouse for query processing. That means it is a virtual warehouse for query processing. It is going to take care of the computation. Cloud service layer is going to take care of the metadata security and optimization. For example, in the storage layer, I'm going to store all type of the data. It can be from the data from different sources. It can be from CSV, Excel, JSON, Parquet, semi-structured and some structured data. All kind of data coming from different source, we will be storing in the storage layer. 
in the compute layer the virtual warehouse for the query processing means this virtual warehouse is going to take care of this query um, computation cloud service layer does the infrastructure management of the snowflake it takes care of the metadata what is metadata for example i'm going to access a file from the s3 bucket so that i got a file name when the file is created all those details of the files are considered as a metadata security means who is logging the in, logging into the snowflake and what time he has logged in what time he has logged out how many sessions they have used those are the things which will be covered in the security in the optimization the query optimization will be done so that uh, the cached result uh, whenever you want to run the query frequently the result will be stored in the caching so that you will be able to access the data very frequently this is called cloud service layer these are the three important layers of the snowflake architecture in that bottom layer is the storage layer storage layer and the compute layer of independent of each other benefit is multi cluster architecture supports concurrent users you have many number of users who is operating the snowflake at the same time the cluster is able to support all the users that is why it is called as a multi cluster architecture that supports a concurrent users coming to the architecture we have a cloud service layer the first layer which takes care of the authentication optimizer metadata manager and security the second layer comes compute layer or query processing layer here only the virtual warehouse the virtual warehouse is going to take care of this computation of the queries if the size is very small the auto scaling of the warehouse will be done taken care by automatically by snowflake if the queries are very less the descaling of the um, uh, snowflake warehouse size will be taken care of the snowflake this scaling auto scaling of the warehouse will be taken care in this layer called compute or query processing layer in the storage layer whatever the different type of the data you are getting from the sources all the data will be stored in the storage layer compute layer and storage layer are independent of each other sometimes you may have more data and less computation sometimes you have less amount of the computation of more amount of data why snowflake is important performance wise it fast well, the queries can be handled very fast it handles a very large data set in the cost efficient it pay only for compute and storage used uh so flexible means it works with sql python spark and bi tools so coming again for the performance um, the queries will be very faster and it handles very large amount of the data set coming to the cost coefficient it pay only for the compute and the storage used whatever the queries you are going to compute how much of the storage you are going to use for that only you are going to pay flexible is which works with the sql python spark and bi tools everything data sharing and collaboration it enables real time insights use cases so where are the snowflake uh, snowflake data where is getting applicable is analytics and bi whatever the um, processed data you are going to store in the snowflake uh, so you will be uh, getting this data in the real time dashboard and reporting layer so whatever the data whether it is directly from the source or after doing the transformation and process you are going to store the data in the snowflake that will be used in the analytics and reporting session so that you can view the data in the dashboard data engineering the snowflake is widely used in the data engineering especially in the etl pipelines the third is data science whatever the mm, uh, snowflake data warehouse data you are going to use that can be used for the predictive modeling and ml models so those data you are storing in the snowflake and you are going to feed this data for the ml whenever the ml is going to get the new set of data it is going to give you the result according to the uh, model or whatever you have predicted and with the um, try whatever the data you have already trained the ml with the set of input data and real time data sharing so across the organization people whomever does not have a snowflake account using the provider and the reader account access of the snowflake using the data sharing feature of the snowflake you will be able to share the data so that they will do some analysis and process on the data finally uh, their roles will be revoked back and the data sharing will be done so these are the areas where the snowflake data warehouse uh, is uh, getting applied in analytics and bi the process the data and the source data of the snowflake will be reflecting in the dashboard in the data engineering etl pipelines you will be storing the data in the snowflake data warehouse in the data science from the snowflake data warehouse you take some training data provide to the ml model from the trained model 
Uh, the ML should be able to predict the result with the test data. And real-time data sharing is nothing but the data sharing across the organization. Summary. Snowflake is nothing but it's a modern cloud native data warehouse. It provides scalability, flexibility, and efficiency. It is ideal for data-driven organization. It handles huge and huge amount of data. It is only for data-driven. Scalability, auto-scaling of the warehouse and the descaling of the warehouse. Flexibility, it uh, allows multiple users and multiple process processing capabilities. Efficiency, storage and computation. And basically, it supports secure and fast data analysis. So this is about the introduction of the uh, Snowflake and some basics uh, intro level of the Snowflake. Tomorrow, we'll continue with the next uh, concept of the Snowflake and day two session. Thank you all. Thank you so much.